Hey guys, welcome back to VR Essentials. Today, very exciting as we're talking about Hubris VR, which is going to be available on the MetaQuest 2, of course, on the MetaQuest 3 in the future when that comes out, and on PlayStation PS VR number 2 as well. And it's been available on Steam for quite some time. Now, let's take a look very quickly at their website. As you can see, it's been revamped. If you're not familiar with what Hubris is, it's basically a recruit of the U is sent to the twin planet system to search for the mysterious agent Sienha. With the help of pilot Lucia, the player will have to shoot, swim, climb and jump to survive the harsh environment and wildlife on a planet being terraformed whilst fighting wicked enemies of the U. Mm. So it's actually a pretty cool game. Now, we did a video, let me just show you very quickly we did a video on the vr essentials channel which is here which is entitled hubris 20 hours later review graphics tips on oculus quest 2 pico 4 and reverb g2 so i did this this video you know quite a while back since then i've played maybe 50 hours in this game most undoubtedly or at least 40 hours at least and let me tell you there are definitely some things here and there it's made by the way by the studio cyborg and their budgets are you know they're not as much as you know valve and and these guys doing half-life alex but the job that they did is really good considering the fact that their team isn't as big apparently i was talking to the main developer he said that they had to change the developers quite often so you had different people working on the exact same thing now this was for the steam version i'm not quite sure about the meta and also the playstation version just fyi i'm just talking about the steam version so you know considering all the challenges the challenges excuse me that they had they did a great job but more importantly what are the others saying let's find out all right so first of all if we go to gamertag actually says that the bag the, the game now the other thing that was quite funny is that most uh content creators have actually been reviewing the PSVR version of the game and VR Game Attack says that he's actually had a really good experience in it. He doesn't think it's a must buy. He still thinks that, you know, and generally this goes across the board, by the way, they feel that there are some things missing here and there. For example, the AI of the monsters or the gameplay is rather a little bit basic. But as I mentioned, I think considering all the constraints that the developers had is definitely a really good vertical slice. And he does give it a 6.8. And, you know, he thinks it's a game that you should definitely try for sure. As also Bearded, uh, sorry, Beardo Banjo. Well, I thought it's Bearded Banjo, but it's Beardo Banjo. Okay. Uh, he also says quite, you know, frankly, the same thing as well. Uh, he says that the graphics are pretty good. The gameplay is okay. But, you know, the enemies, it would be great if they were a little bit harder. And also if there was more interaction. Uh, with the actual, you know, characters in the game too. MRTV, same thing. Actually, MRTV seems to be the one who's enjoying himself the most. Now, this game is definitely for those who love sci-fi kind of things, who like to travel, be immersed in different worlds in virtual reality. But I have to say that the fact that the graphics are really, really well done, except for, well, on the Steam version anyway, I'm not quite sure about the PlayStation version, but when you're outside with the cliffs, uh, if I can get here we go here we go here's a shot here with the cliffs it's actually quite blurry inside of the steam version not quite sure about the PSVR it seems to be better on PSVR and also for the quest it seems to handle it a bit better compared to the steam version but Sebastian Ang from MRTV says that he has a good time inside and definitely recommends it as well I have to say that the best video that I saw has to go hands down to Paradise Decay so big shout out to you as well as his video actually does side-by-side -side comparison graphics with PC using a 380 Ti as well as PSVR 2 and Quest 2 Pro. So basically he takes you through the verse level um, and you know you can actually get to see let me just pause it okay it's not playing so you can actually get to see um, you know pretty much side-by-side -side. so he puts the same wherever he is in the game in one version of the game he puts it next to it so it's pretty much you know spot on in terms of the uh, duration and timing for each screen and you can definitely tell that there are some compromises inside of the quest 2 compared to psvr 2 in fact i find that psvr 2 is the closest 
to the PC version, uh, but with Meta Quest 2, there are definitely some compromises there in terms of the reflections, the refractions, and also some of the shadowing and the lighting. But you definitely have to go and watch the video in order to see those differences. Now, personally, I don't have a Quest 2 nor a PSVR 2, so I can't give you side by side comparison, but I can definitely tell you that with the PC VR, most of the time, I would say 90% of the time, the graphics are really just amazing except for when you're outside as i mentioned here these cliffs and sometimes you'll find you know when you're inside of something there will be some issues here and there some blurry or some some textures some materials are not you know super crisp and clear but again as i said it's only five or ten percent of the time in the game most of the time so 90 percent of the time you're going to have a brilliant experience you're going to be able to climb on things like the climb you're also going to be able to swim inside. I mean, the swimming is absolutely fantastic. Great experience swimming underwater in this game. They've done an amazing job, especially if you go to the surface and you put your head down, then your head up and your head down again, or you leave your head just in between the water and the actual air itself, the outside itself, you'll see the refractions are just mind blowing. So I have to say that it is very true in terms of my review for this game. It's, you know, okay in terms of the AI, they're relatively easy to beat. The interactions with people are okay. It's a very, very silent game, quite quiet. So you definitely have to be someone who likes to go in environments where you can explore, you can take your time. I have to say that it's very, very relaxing. So if you feel very stressed out or something, then you can definitely go inside of Hubris and you're going to come out feeling much more calm so great game overall as far as i'm concerned i would give it a good seven out of ten as well but guys yeah i hope that you enjoyed this video let me know hit the thumbs up hit the likes so that you know i can do more of these kind of videos and i get your feedback you're telling me that these are the kind of videos that you want me to do leave your comments let me know do you have hubris on which platform do you have it and do you have it on multiple platforms multiple headsets which headset do you like to play with it the most and by the way, I did want to let you know that with this specific headset, the DPVR, now there are some issues running the OpenXR. It, well, for me anyway, the game freezes quite often. And when it freezes, it freezes for, you know, a good 30 seconds or one minute before it continues. So there's definitely some issues there. Now, I have let the developers know at, of course, Hubris, at Cyborn, and I've also let DPVR know. So hopefully they'll be able to resolve the bug very, very fast. Guys, so much to say. I'll see you in another video, a live stream tonight, tomorrow night, or the, the night after that. We're going to be using DPVR, doing some Automobilista 2, and plenty, plenty more. We might have also the founder of Walkabout Minigo very soon. So hit the notification bell after you subscribe so you're notified about all these really awesome videos coming out very soon. See you later, guys. Bye for now.